Hey, hi, I'm Tamara Haynes. I'm here at Daytona Beach Quilt Week, and we are cleaning up the show. And guess who we found? Nancy Prince, who won our Viewer's Choice Award. Congratulations, Thank you Nancy. very much. Tell us about this gorgeous winter day. Well, this is inspired by where I grew up. I grew up in the mountains of Asheville, North Carolina, and it was kind of where I used to play and ice skate and things like that when we did have cold weather. Mm -hmm. um, all the figures that you see on here are all done with thread. There is about 75,000 yards of thread mm. um, on the quilt. Some of it ended up in the trash because I do samples first. Right. But all the figures that you see here are done off the quilt. In other mm -hmm. words, they're not part of this background. They're actually done separately on water soluble stabilizer. And then once they're, once I've got all the thread in here and I'm really happy with the way that they are, then I clean them up. And then after the quilt is quilted, the binding's on, the label's on, everything is done. The very last thing that happens is these figures go on the quilt. Wonderful. Well, this is such a beautiful scene so, and, and funny for someone who lives in Florida. So yeah, I know. That makes sense that it's uh, where you grew up. I want to know more about these houses really stand off, just the flat nature of them without the quilting on them. Tell me about these. Okay, the houses, like the figures down here, they were added at the very end. My husband is a retired general contractor and oh. he built homes for years, so he's very familiar with CAD programs. Mm -hmm. And online, Google has a, has a free program called SketchUp. Okay. And that way you can make that, you can design the houses, if you mm -hmm. will, and you can turn them to get the perspective that you need. Mm -hmm. And then he also was able to find uh, items to put behind the windows, right. like here there's They're people. Yes. And then on the little shops over there, mm -hmm. Uh, there's also people behind oh, there as well, mm -hmm. and that gives it a little dim feeling like people actually live here. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And now tell us uh, who quilted for you? The entire quilt, the, the background was painted in Photoshop. Okay. And it was painted, obviously this is uh, way too wide for one piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. So in the design phase, it was, the fabric was broken up into three horizontal pieces. There's okay. the break here, okay. and then there's the breakthrough here. And that way I had it printed in three sections, applicated together. Mm -hmm. Then when this was all done, before any of the figures went on, I sent it to my friend Linda French. She lives in Dayton, Ohio. Okay. She did all the quilting. Mm -hmm. Now what everybody asked me, they go, well, how did she know how to quilt it when she didn't know where any of these figures were going to go? Mm -hmm. She didn't have to know. As long as she followed the terrain lines, Yes. That's all she had to do. She, it doesn't make yes. any difference to her where I was putting anything. I see, she and would, it made it so realistic. Just it's such a detail in here, it's wonderful. Well, and too, when you're, when you're doing a landscape quilt, if you mm -hmm. look at the spaces between the lines up here, they're very close together. Mm -hmm. And as you come down towards the foreground of the quilt, the spaces between those lines need to get further apart because this gives you the illusion that something's further away and this gives you the illusion that something's up closer to you. Absolutely, absolutely. What, who's your, are any of these people someone you know? No, they're not. Okay. No, the only thing I can tell you is, uh, this is all thread painting, and obviously mm -hmm. when you're working with thread, and even though everything's in a hoop, there's a lot of distortion mm -hmm. that happens. So when I got down here to the wagon, I knew there was no way I could do it in one piece. Mm -hmm. So the wagon was, wagon with the people were down in 25 different pieces. There were oh. 25 pieces to the wagon, and then I had nine people. Oh my. So at the end, they went back together with like a puzzle, uh, because otherwise it would have destroyed so badly that I, it would have never looked mm -hmm. nice on here. Looked nice. But one thing, my, my husband is, he can find anything online, and I told him I needed some little buckles. Mm -hmm. So he went online and he found me all these little buckles in a lot of different sizes, and then a horseshoe down here that turned out to be just the perfect size. Love it. Now, is that your favorite embellishment? Yes. I, and and it's, <laughs> yes. it's turned the right way up. Yes. So it, it's mm -hmm. uh, lucky. Yeah. <laughs> well, wonderful. Well, we have so enjoyed, and I obviously uh, our quilters here at Daytona Beach have loved your quilt as well as you were the winner well, thank of you. Viewer's Choice, and congratulations again. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing what you have for us next year. I don't think it'll be next year, but one of these years <laughs> okay. I'll have another one. Okay. But thank you very much. You're welcome.